you already know what's going on. Uh, in Cold War, they just dropped the AMP 63 pistol and we're going to be getting it Dark Matter. But I still need to unlock the weapon. If you want to unlock it, you can use a pistol and eliminate five enemies in 20 different matches, which will take forever. And it says completed matches. You have to do every single match. But if you want to unlock it through zombies, I think will be way faster than multiplayer. All you got to do is get 400 critical kills. And if you're not familiar with what a critical kill is in zombies, it's just 400 headshots. So if you just grab a pistol and head into zombies, it'll be way faster than doing a multiplayer. But since I already have some COD points on my account, I'm going to go ahead and grab the blueprint for this pistol. I'll show you guys my initial reactions to the weapon, my first game with it. Then we'll show a little highlights of me ranking it up, getting camos for it and all that. And then I'll show you guys me getting a dark matter. So this is what the blueprint looks like. It's like, uh... It's almost like a toy gun. Star Wars gun almost. Let's go ahead and grab that. And let's make sure we grab our free bundle. So if you guys do have access to COD points, you already have COD points on your account, or you just want to go ahead and grab the pistol, I'm pretty sure you can still unlock camos and level it up before unlocking the weapon, just as long as you have it. Like if you pick the weapon off from the ground, or if you're using just the blueprint, you should still get levels and camos for it. And if you're already using it and you're using it in a multiplayer, it'll help you just unlock the weapon naturally. So let's go ahead and make a class for this. Don't really need anything in particular for our starting weapon, our primary. We're not going to be using it, but our second secondary you'll see right here it'll say base weapon locked but you can still equip your blueprint if you do grab it oh okay the blueprint comes dual wield oh this is gonna be fun but this is what it's gonna look like with the mastery camos and the blueprint so here's gold diamond dm ultra and here is gold viper plague diamond and dark aether now, i can't show you the base weapon because i don't have it unlocked yet but we're gonna go see how these dual pistols do let's change up the class really quick put a field mic on tomahawks can stay we'll grab a stim and this class should be good all right let's hop in a game and see how these pistols do i'm gonna go ahead and put on a double weapon xp too all right, this is what the pistols look like in game. I'm so glad these come with dual wield. And as you can see, they're set to kill, not stun. So we're going in with them. Right, who's the first poor soul that's getting these? Ooh, I don't know if I like that. At range, it doesn't seem too good with this blueprint. There we go. That's another one. Okay, maybe I was wrong. They seem to have a pretty fast time to kill. Ooh, ooh. Okay, maybe I, I, I was wrong about the range right off the bat. I can't make snap judgments like that. Oh, we already have it level three. Oh, there's more. No, he quickscoped me. But these are kind of nice, actually. I'm, I'm liking these. This is going to be a fun grind. I, I do really like how they made it. So if you have the blueprint, you can unlock camos and level up the weapon now. Get out of here. If you're not using a shotgun and you need like a, a reliable secondary, I think this is going to be really good for it. These things are probably dastardly and hardcore. That's why I'm going to be grinding these on. So I can't wait to see how they do there. They seem to be doing pretty well in core. I think short to medium range, these are nice. Long range, it's kind of, uh, it's, it's hit or miss. But if you can land your shots at range, I don't think there's too much damage fall off. I think the accuracy just falls off a bit. But I'm sure single pistol, this thing's got to be nice at range. Hey. It down. Oh. No, I ran out of ammo. I was going in there. Oh, he's body shooting too. Yep, there you can see you can still get camos with a blueprint. That's such a nice touch now. I I'm so glad they added that. Well, war machine time. Where's the rest of them? There we go. We'll we'll take a quick four. Oh, and then die. Let's go. 33 and 16. Not a bad scoreline for our first game with these. We leveled up like probably eight times. Got a camo for them in one game. Not bad. We got a lot of attachments for it. Oh, seven levels. I said eight. All right. Well, that was my first game with it. My first impressions. I'm going to go ahead and grind this out for DM Ultra. So I'll see you guys in a second. No, he had a ball here of hell.
All right, we're back. And uh, as you just saw, we got it, DM Ultra. It took a few hours, uh, a lot of grinding. I was switching between core and hardcore. I actually had it all the way leveled up before I even had it unlocked. So if that doesn't tell you that the multiplayer challenges take forever to unlock weapons, I don't know what will. But we got a DM Ultra, uh, probably one of the fastest. Definitely not the first, but you know, we're, we're getting it done pretty quick. I think the most trouble I had was the five kills and the long shots. Long shots, I had to wait until I actually unlocked it so I could go single pistol, aim down sights and hardcore. You know, after I got it, it, it came pretty quick. The games were very very up and down it would be either i'm dropping a lot of kills and then dying at four or it'd just be i'm getting dominated and i just need to leave the game but uh overall i think it's pretty mid-level pistol it's fun like if it gets going it gets going but I, I don't think it's as crazy as people are making it out to be but anyways let's hop in a game with it dm ultra and see how it does maybe maybe the camo makes it better all right here's what it looks like with dm ultra in game i have, of course i still have the blueprint on because why not but they look pretty cool still looks like a star wars pistol but I, I think they're nice. That's that's one kill. We'll take it. Now, what I've been doing is I've been trying to crack down on myself just sprinting and reloading constantly because I have the worst habits when it comes to COD. But towards the end of the grind there, I actually went on a 20 something kill streak, which is higher than anything we've ever gotten to with our you know, nuke progress. Uh, I think it was like a 23, maybe a 24. I might have tied my, my current record. But we did pretty well with it. Uh, like if you can get behind some people like like I'm doing right now, you know, sneak up on them. You can get some kills pretty fast. I still don't think it's the best long range if you need like long shots and everything. I, I would say play hardcore with it, but it, it's a fun weapon. It's not like it's not awful. It's not amazing, but it can compete with other secondaries. Like it's it's in the conversation for any secondary you want in your loadout. And I, I think that's all you can really ask for in a DLC weapon. But the, the grind with it, you know, I had a lot of fun. There's a few times where I would go off with it, you know, rack up a few kills. It, it like get some nice feed. I'm, I'm sure I, I'm going to put it in the video in between the first two or the first segment and this segment. You know, to sum it up, not the craziest gun, not the worst gun, but it is pretty fun. And now all we got to do is get kills with it and die with it. There we go. Hey, we'll, we'll take a win. Oh, and a play of the game. Sit down, hop out the window. You get one, you get one. Who's next? You're gonna lay down? Not gonna help you, pal. And just to end it off, since I haven't shown my class, surprisingly, the blueprint that came with this weapon had most of the good attachments on it, which is something you don't normally see from a COD game. They, they usually just throw on attachments they think look nice with it or whatever, but they actually put on competitive attachments with the blueprint. Well, I, I give them props for that. But I had the SOCOM Eliminator on, Task Force Barrel, Ember Sighting Point, 25 round mag and akimbo if i'm going for kills uh if you're going for long shots i would switch off akimbo for an optic and then take off the body attachment and put uh, airborne elastic wrap on it or you know any anything else you think might help with long shots but the grind was fun uh, a little up and down at some points uh, i got dominated my first game of hardcore so i played core with it for a while then i realized i was falling behind on long shots switch back to hardcore once i got the single pistol and it just flew by uh pistols relatively easy grind relatively fast i started at like 4 p.m uh, i'm recording this at like 9 50 p.m now so if, if you're gonna sit there and grind it that, that's approximately how long it would take probably faster if you're a better player than i am but this is a, a nice addition to call of duty i think it's it's pretty good it's a, it's a fun weapon i uh, don't know how it will do in warzone i've seen mixed reviews on it people saying you know it's kind of lackluster let me know what you guys think about the weapon in the comments but this is where I'm going to end the episode. If you guys like this and you want to see more, leave a like on it. You didn't, you don't, dislike. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.